Okay, now there's one place left. The place that seemed literally impossible to do, but maybe I was just missing something. Well, let's go find out. Okay, back to this. Right, so I need to get someone on that. That was the thing I couldn't figure out. How do you get someone on that button? I don't get it. Like, I don't even see how it's possible. You can't... It doesn't... Wait, what if you do this? What if you shoot? No, it doesn't push you. You have to be in no gravity for that. What am I missing? I don't even see how it's possible to get anyone into that. Make as many clones as you want, it doesn't matter. I just now realized that pressing this button doesn't just disable this light, it disables that one. Whoops. Okay, that's how you do it. Alright, I kind of fucked that up. Try again. Wait, what did I just do? Uh, shit. Okay, hold on. You do that. Can you move in the air? Yes, you can. Hmm. Wait a minute, I think I see. I think I see how to do this. Oh, God. I just had it in my mind, but now it's, like, disappearing. What was it? Shit. Um... Ah, damn it. What was it? Like, I just figured it out, but now it's gone. It has something to do with the fact that the clones cannot move while in this thing. What was it? Stupid fleeting thoughts. Come back to me. I need you. Okay, well if I do that, I'm gonna have someone here. But I can't switch to anyone.
So what if I do this? What does that get me? Oh wait, I think I have it. Okay, yeah, that's it. There we go. And then... Hold on, let me take my time. Put him here. I'm gonna have one more... Okay. I'll move a little bit. Okay. There we go. Now I feel satisfied. I have every single thing I could possibly get at this point in the game. Yep. Alright, let's go back to the teleporter. God, this music is depressing. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't do it fast enough. That is one hell of a door. Wow. There were... They weren't, uh, they weren't joking about this being a high-security laboratory. That was one hell of a door. What is thought? I think I know. It must have rules. We may not see the... What the hell is that? New Mena? But we surely know they are the cause of the thoughts. Some of us have grown crazy. Everything there is, is thought. Log number 10, Emergency Evac 2. This morning, the last senior crew member disengaged the lockdown on the high security labs and relocated all of us here. Uh, relocated us all here. The labs are well shielded and the doors are sealed tight. Everyone's hoping we've not been followed here by whatever it is that's killing us. Okay, so something's been following them and killing them. That's unsettling. Sample containment and metaphysics, and this way is Xeno Research. What's this way? Airlock. Really? That fall killed me? Alright, well, airlock is where I'm supposed to go, but I'm guessing there's something that's going to be in my way. Such as that. Whatever that is. Does this work? Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, on second thought, let's explore everything else first. 
Wow, that is going to be <laughs> really disorienting. That's going to be fun. Alright, check this one out. Sample containment and metaphysics. Sounds like fun. Two more encryption orbs are required to access this place. What is this growth? It looks organic. I'm guessing that's connected to whatever's been happening. Alright, Xeno Research. Whoa! What is that in the background? This is where we developed the device in your hands. We looked at the way the watchers communicate and built a delivery system for it. To be frank with you, we didn't know what on earth it was at first. It turns out it swaps people's souls about. It swaps souls. Yeah, I don't see anything bad that can happen with such a technology. Sounds great. Let's turn it into a children's toy. Alright, so they only developed the swapper. And this whole cloning technology. As a part of the Watchers. So something about the Watchers allowed them to create this technology. What is that? Okay, looks like it's a light on the end of some sort of a arm thing. Log number 11, Swapper Research Interests, Team B Report. Discovering what the Swapper did was easy. Our new research priority is to work out how. I believe that it is synthesizing some parts, uh, some part of the Watcher's telepathic communication. Somehow it is able to relocate raw consciousness while leaving the physical body intact. To understand the device and perhaps consciousness itself, we must understand the Watchers. And that's from Dr. Chalmers, that's the person that's been talking to me. Alright, synthesizing some part of the Watcher's telepathic communication. Is that why all the copies are doing exactly what I do? Because I'm telepathically connected to them? Alright, what the heck do we have here? That is very bright. Hmm... I'm not sure what good that is. Could I, like, shoot the... Oh, okay. Huh. Right, so I just need to get rid of this. But how do I do that? Because there's only one button. Not sure how this is going to work. Oh, wait a minute, I see. Get him on the edge. Bingo. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, are these just like easy puzzles or am I just good? Because, for once when playing a game that's all about the puzzles, I actually feel smart. So what I'm wondering is, am I actually smart, or are these just easy puzzles? I 
Because usually I'm just like, what the fuck is this? And I just smash my keyboard and get pissed off. <laughs> but now I'm actually solving them. Which is nice for a change. Definitely nice. Alright, let's go down. I love going down. My character model looks very weird when I'm in the red. As if parts of his body are being chroma keyed out. I think it's just lighting that's really bright. <laughs> I have this entire room in this puzzle I have to solve, and what do they give me? A box. Thanks, game. I'm sure that box will be the solution that I need to solve this entire thing. Actually, it probably will be. I don't think it'd be in here accidentally. So, what am I doing? Ow. Hmm. What am I actually doing? The thing is, I don't see any buttons. Which means, how do I possibly get over here? I can't swap through the red. I'm never gonna get used to that. Not completely, anyway. If there's no buttons and I can't swap through the red, then how do I even complete this? Hmm. I have no idea. This is another one that, just like the previous one, or one of the previous ones, seems practically impossible. But there's just gotta be something I'm missing. Hmm. How the hell... Do I do this? And how would I utilize that box? I don't see how that's going to help anything. That helped nothing. <laughs> huh. Okay, I'm stumped. Alright, I'm gonna come back to this room. Maybe something will click. How long has it been like this, and not like the Great Chain before? Oh, we've got a nice light show going on here. Just need the lights to pulse and some techno music, and we're good. We've got a rave. What the heck did that just do? Hmm. 
And once again, what is that box for? Wait a minute, what if I did this? Yeah, wedge that shit in there. What is that gonna do? What exactly is that going to do? Well, it gives me a little sliver. Is that really what you're supposed to do? I don't know, it seems kind of weird. I still can't make anything. Hmm. No. That's no good. I have no idea. If only I could turn off this blue light. You can't, like, cover it up, can you? Oh, you can! Well. That changes things. Okay, then. Hold on a second, clone. You need to all die. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Neither did that. Neither did that. None of that worked. Okay. It's a fucking red light. I just don't see an opportunity to get past the red light. It's just... I don't see it. I don't get it. <laughs> that did not work. And once again, what did this do? No. Stupid clone. Well, 
Would that actually work? I don't know. But I need the box for the blue light. So that can't be what I'm supposed to do. Surely that isn't. Come here. Alright, well I've got two adjacent rooms that are stumping me. Well, hold on, I will be right back. Okay, I've just tried for like five more minutes to solve this puzzle and I have no idea. So for now, this puzzle and that puzzle are going to remain unsolved until I need to do them, I guess. Or maybe if I have some sort of epiphany. Alright, let's go to the unexplored hatch. Log number 12, accident report. Casualties, Albert Petrovich, or Petrovich, and Diana Moss, ranking crew member statement. Petrovich and Moss volunteered to take part in the first test engagement of the swapping corps between individual crew members. The procedure was conducted safely, however both crew members immediately reported extensive memory loss, meaning it had been impossible to verify whether a swap actually took place or not. With a little more time, we believe we can correct for the memory loss and complete the experiment successfully. Extensive memory loss. I think I might stop at that point, but okay. Commander's assessment. A complete ban on all testing of the swapper device between individual crew members is to take effect immediately. I understand your safety record for use of the device between clone subjects remained, remains untarnished. Consider yourself fortunate that this avenue of research remains open to you. Yeah, that sounds extremely dangerous. I am, for one, glad we do not have that sort of technology. Because trying to deal with all the ramifications and the possible uses and the ethical issues would be such a bitch, it's not even funny. Alright, what is this thing? Hmm. Alright, well now I've got a clone stuck down there, which might be a problem. Hmm. Wait, I still need to open that. <laughs> what do you know? It's a problem. I am one person short. Well. Okay, I have no idea how to solve this one either, so forget it. That's three that I don't know how to solve. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to solve them at some point, though. Because that's six, seven, eight, nine orbs that I'm missing. But for now, I don't actually need them. So I can either go through here. Or I can go across here. So let's go to the console. Ah, oh shit, that looks dangerous. One human organic converged. Okay, so it is organic and it is not human. Attention. Access to metaphysics via sample containment is restricted to qualified empiricists. Well, too bad.
Alright, we've got a bunch of teleporters. Where are these going to take me? What the hell? Well, I see we're going to have a nice, uh, nice fun time with these teleporters. Some of the minds that probed us believed only in the physical world. Some believed in something more. They never ceased arguing. Where am I now? Oh, another one. I have been changed, as if the other minds like yours had a will that could cut through my own. What the hell? Where am I going? And what is this? This is the same organic matter that was blocking the pathway back there. But it's everywhere. The way for the thought of the... The way for the thought of the passage of the day is the day for the thought of the passage of the way. What? The way for the thought of the passage of the day is the day for the thought of the passage of the way. Well, thank you for clearing that up, Rock. That explains everything. Hmm, look like specimens back there. Alright, so I'm guessing the one up here will, tele will teleport me above, right? Yeah, okay. Man, what are these things in the background? This one should tele teleport me to the right. T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. Now I know you're A-B-C. Won't you come and release me? <laughs> A-B-C-D. Well... Now I know you're ABC, won't you come and release me? What the hell did we do? Accidentally or hopefully not on purpose. We obviously... It's... It, I get the feeling that we basically ruined them. Wow. Oh, wait a minute, there's a way down from the bottom one. Alright, where does this one go? Whoa. This isn't the ship, is it? Is this... Is this like a temple? Did they build this? Holy crap. Or is this part of the ship? I don't know. It would be damn expensive if it was if it was part of the ship. I mean, obviously we're still on the ship, but log 14 memo: Some watcher specimens are millions of years old, so it's fair to assume a high level of intellectual development. If they're telepathic as well, I think Cori 5's indigenous species may be the universe's oldest, most powerful quantum computer. If only we knew the programming language. And maybe the universe's oldest, most powerful quantum computer. Alright, where am I now? Oh. I think I'm going around here. Like, maybe this leads back up? And I don't actually have to go across the ship? I don't know. The other minds here were always turning. They thought of the world a little as we do.
All right, well, there's a bunch of teleporters here. And a long-distance teleporter. All right, let's take the first one. Whoa, colorful. All right, what have we got? God damn, this music is giving me chills. It's kind of happy, but also really fucking depressing at the same time. Well, that's not any good. Hmm. I can't see how that's ever going to work. Wow, I just keep getting stumped on all of these. Okay, well, I could do that, but that's not going to do anything. Um. That did nothing. What the hell am I doing? I keep thinking that there might be something I'm missing, like a new tool or something that would allow me to complete these. But I'm pretty sure it's just that I'm not getting the puzzle. Okay, screw this place. And that makes four puzzles that I don't know how to complete. Alright. See if I can do better with this one. Log 13, Watcher Metaphysics. What do watchers know about the weather? With no physical senses with which to perceive the world, we have to ask, what constitutes knowledge for a watcher? How do they conceptualize death? What do they know of the physical world? Watchers must have some conception of the natural, physical forces which cause them to move in and out of one another's detection range. Such forces may be inexplicable for them, but then the human race has had great success in understanding the physical world beyond its gaze. The Watchers have likely theorized, and they have had rather more time than us to get things right. Alright, what does that do? Ah. Well, in that case, I guess I can only make two clones. Whoops. Well, ah, God damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. All right, what does this do? I see. Well, I can kill that one. 
put this here. Okay, whoop, nope, not good. That turns off the blue, that turns off the red. And there's a pit of death, which I'm sure is going to come in handy. I don't see what good that is. What the hell did I just do? Can't make any more clones. Maybe this music is supposed to be uplifting, but it's really not. It just makes me want to fall into this great big chasm and kill myself. In game, I, of course. How the hell? Okay, I could do that, but... That doesn't really help all that much. Actually, it doesn't help at all. Wait a minute, can I jump this? Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I think, well, wait, how's this gonna... God damn it. Okay, that... I still don't have a clone that I can use, though. So, what the hell? Okay, I think I need to disable the blue one first. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. I think I got this. Kill that one. Get that one there. Now I can put him there. But... But... Wait. Switch... Uh, how's this gonna work? <sighs> See, that one's gonna fall off. Huh. Oh, oh, oh! Bingo! Yeah! Got it. Do that. There we go. <laughs> and the first thing I do is go ahead first into the ground. Good job. I don't know if being in control of that is actually a good thing. Controlling consciousness, swapping consciousness. <sighs> That's one of those things, you know, where it's just... The thought is terrifying. But you know that if it ever becomes reality, that... Trying to remain ignorant and trying to bury it isn't the right approach. That just doesn't work. You know, if you develop a technology that changes everything, like, let's say, cloning, 
like we learned how to clone people easily. Trying to ignore it would just drive it underground, turn into some crazy black market thing, and it would be a fucking mess. Of course it's going to be a mess anyway, but it's best to be a mess that you're actually trying to stay on top of and in control. So it's a scary thought, and I kind of almost wish it doesn't happen. But if it ever did, I think the best approach would be to try to actually understand it rather than try to bury it. But I don't know. Obviously there's not exactly uh I don't exactly have a lot of experience with cloning people and swapping consciousness. So, yeah. Well, this one's going to be interesting. Is that a button? Ah. Ah, and it's timed. Timed by how long it takes to fall. This looks like a lever, but I don't think I can do anything with it. Nope. Wait a minute, what's to stop me from just getting it? Is it the fact that I wouldn't be able to escape? Or could I not escape? Oh, right. The problem is you break your legs. So I need to disable the blue light. Which is disabled how? Come on, you can jump. Or you could not jump, that's fine too. Is there any way to get there down there alive? Hold on, what if you... Hold on. Alright, what the hell am I thinking? Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing. Need to disable the blue light. I'm assuming this disables the blue light, but I die. I don't even know where to start, honestly. Welp, that didn't work. Welp, that didn't work either. Hmm. I need to get at that box down below, because this one up here doesn't do much of anything. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've discovered something. I've discovered this. I put my clone down there, and now we can simultaneously do this. However, I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Ooh, I'm sliding. That's interesting. We Oh no! 
Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Get back here. Alright. But now what? Okay, I could do that. But what... What is this getting me? Oh, wait a minute. I think I think I actually maybe solved it. I know what this is getting me. I need to let that go back. This is going to open. I can get him in here and then I can swap. It's blue. I can't make a clone, but I can swap. So hold on. Let me do this. Okay, there we go. Got it. Bingo. Okay, yeah, I thought my uh, string of inability to solve puzzles was going to continue, but no, it did not. Okay, so where have I been, where have I not been? Okay, these three puzzles I could not solve. I could go up here and go across here to get to there. Um, have I been up here? Wait, didn't I already solve this one? Watch your metaphysics. Do they know about the weather? Yeah, I already solved this one, didn't I? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I did. There's no orb. This one goes to here, which is where I just was. This one goes to... Oh, this one goes to here. Right. Okay, so that does mean there are actually four that I have not been able to complete. Because this one, I have no idea. Huh. Alright, well. well. Let's go back up here. Okay, this is going to be fun. I love the fact that this is like sickeningly twisting constantly. Always disorienting. Oh my god. God, I love these sequences. They did such a good job with just the way it feels. The way the view is constantly shifting and moving and rotating around you. It's so disorienting and in a good way. Ugh. I just I keep wanting to twist my head to try to make this make sense. But it's best to just try to adapt. Oh my god. Okay, I made it. Okay. Long distance teleport machine and an unexplored hatch. Log 15. Transit order. Watcher sample 1. Specimen profile. <clears throat> the... Excuse me. The head watcher is a vast watcher specimen. The first to be discovered on... Uh, Cori 5. It exhibits far more active neurological activity than the rest, seeming to function as a kind of group communication hub. The sample is being relocated to the Mind Science Laboratory, Sector 2, for extended observation following red-flagged radiological activity. Transit order. Weight, 112 tons. Holy crap, that's big. Transit limitations. Due to extreme weight and dimensions, sample is unfit for teleport. 
Transit method, 0G, station exterior, sample to be towed with guide ropes. Transit route, research sample containment, airlock, station exterior, airlock, gravity control, mine science laboratory. Alright, and it's the mine science laboratory that I'm going to, right? And that's where she is, uh, I forgot her name. But that's where the person that I've been talking to is. So we're going to the hub, I guess. The hub of communication. For the watchers. We need to stop them. We need to stop them from doing what? Oh, looks like I have access granted. 31 orbs. Well, I could take the lift, or I could just do... Wait. Is this all blue light? This is all blue light. I can't make anything. What is that glowy stuff? Well, it doesn't seem to hurt me, so that's good. Whoa. Okay, I guess I just acti- <laughs> I just activated gravity control. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Wow, this is really weird. <laughs> and I'm still up here. A watcher cannot be ended. A watcher always is. There is only disconnection from the chain. What is destruction? Is it like being changed? Well, I suppose technically it is a form of change. One that renders you non-existent anymore, or your consciousness non-existent, anyway. Okay, there we go. Much better. You're here. Good. This is the first Watcher we ever discovered. The head. It sorts, filters, and distributes the thoughts of every Watcher in broadcast range. It also kills the crew. They're like every other living being in that respect. You corner them, and the defense mechanisms kick in. Very effective. Something in the air. We probably have a few hours to live. Unfortunately, these things are practically indestructible. There's no time to jettison them all and nowhere to run. You're going to have to engage it with a swapper device and take control. Once the Watcher mind is in your body, it'll be harmless. Once you're in there, just try to keep it together until I can come and pull you out. I wish you luck, but honestly, it should be straightforward enough. Wait, I'm sorry, you want me to do what? And what was that? Something just went weird. That isn't going to work. Something just happened. There's only one way to do this, and it's mine. I'm supposed to swap consciousness with this thing, so it can take it over my body and therefore be rendered ineffective? I'm not sure I'm okay with that. God, look at that thing. 